Hello everyone, welcome back to another guide. Alright, so today's guide is going to be on Rengar. First, let's talk about his jungle path. You want to start red, but don't smite it. Then, you want to head to your Krugs and smite if you need the extra HP. Next, you're going to head to your birds and focus the large one. But, what you want to be doing is every time you get Q up, you're going to want to hit all the tiny birds with your Q. And this way you maximize your wave clear. After all that, all you want to do is just clear the whole left side of your camp and go back to buy your first item. Okay, now let's talk about Rengar's combos. The bread and butter combo I usually use on Rengar is R, Q, E, and then a W. After you do this first combo, you have a few choices. For example, when I get CC'd after I finish Q, I would use a W to get out of the CC. Another example would be to throw an E. Only do this when the enemy is trying to escape using dashes or flash. Alright, now that we've talked about Rengar's combos, let's talk about his items. Alright, so the first item you want to get as Rengar is going to be a Skirmisher Saber with Warrior Enchantment. First off, the Warrior really helps you with your damage. That is one of the reasons why I get it. Plus, the red smite with Rengar is really broken because of the burn and how much damage he deals with it. The next item that I will get on Rengar really depends on what I need in the situation. So, for example, I would get his Lucidity Boots if I need to ult more often, like my teammates are feeding like crazy and I need to gank more often, I would get Lucidity Boots. But, if my team is doing well and all I need is my Bone Tooth stacks, I'll go for a Dusk Blade of Drakthar. The next item that you want to get, that I think in my opinion is the most important in this Rengar build, is an Infinity Edge. The reason why this is so good on Rengar is because what Infinity Edge does is it boosts your crit, sort of. Where it makes your crits stronger, all of them. So, this will include when Rengar jumps out of alt, the guaranteed crit that happens will be huge. This is one of the reasons why you want to get it for him. Alright, the next item you want to get is going to be a Bloodthirster. The reason why I get this is it gives you a better damage output because of the extra AD that it offers. Plus, it gives you lifesteal, which helps a lot in sustained teamfights. The final item that I get on Rengar is going to be a Ravenous Hydra. The reason for this is it gives you more ability resets, plus it gives you the lifesteal and damage that you need. Alright, I know there are no defensive items here, but the thing is, if you can play Rengar good enough, he has a crazy amount of defensive abilities, per se. So, for example, if you're being chased, you just throw your E backwards slow them, or if it's empowered, stun them in place. Another thing, empowered W gets you out of every CC. It's like a gangplank orange. But if you are getting hard countered, I would recommend buying a guardian angel. Alright, now that we've talked about how to build Rengar, let's talk about how you can engage team fights when it's no longer lane phase and you can't pick people off as easy. So for example here, I waited for the enemy to engage on Nasus before I cleaned up the fight. This is what you want to do as Rengar. You want to wait for your teammates to engage or be engaged on, and then clean up afterwards. Because the thing is, when you get to team fights, people start to focus you because they realize, oh no, if we let Rengar walk around in our backline, everything's gonna die. So people start to focus you and it gets really hard if you engage as Rengar. That's why, in teamfights, you wait for your team to engage and get the enemies low so you can just clean up everything. Another thing that I usually do to turn fights in my favor is by fighting in the jungle. Now, one way that I can get the enemy team to come into the jungle is by baiting a dragon fight. So, for example, you walk towards the dragon and use like a scrying orb to uh, check wards around the dragon pit. This way, they'll think, oh yeah, they're definitely doing dragon because they just cleared the ward that we placed. 
And then what I'll do, instead of actually attacking the dragon, I'll sit in a bush, blocking their pathway to the dragon. And then when this happens, I jump out at them. And usually there are more bushes around in the jungle that I can keep jumping from bush to bush to. And this, this mobility helps a lot with you surviving. So the best place to fight for Rangar is in the jungle. Alright, now I'll show you guys what Rangar's runes, masteries, and ability skill order are. The runes that I get for Rangar are 80 reds, armor yellows, cooldown reduction blues, and attack damage quints. The masteries that I'm going to get is going to be 1218 with Thunderlords as the keystone. And finally, this is Rangar's skill order. Alright, so the skill order for Rangar is you're going to want to be maxing Q first for damage, and then max your E second for more damage on top of that. Then you're going to max your W last because your W's heals isn't as good as it used to be. Alright, now let's talk about Rangar's pros and cons. Alright, so some pros to Rangar is that he can get instant picks and just one-shot almost anything in the game. He has a very fast jungle clear that is not matched by many junglers. His alt cooldown is so low, plus it lasts forever. And he has a constant map-wide pressure because of his invisibility. Alright, so the cons to Rengar are he gets really hard focused in every fight. His next con is his power spike is delayed when he can't get bone tooth stacks. Another con about Rengar is he doesn't have any reliable escapes, all he has is his E. Next, he has a hard time ganking when he doesn't have level 6. So this will delay ganking a lot, especially if your teammates are feeding when you're only level 4. Thank you so much for watching this guide. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment if you have any suggestions for my next guides. Hope you enjoyed.